the Google definition of the word news is a person or personified force who is the source of inspiration for a creative artist. Here are five reasons why I call you a muse. One, you look a lot like a dream that cannot come true. You are surreal. Every time I look into your eyes, I pinch my hands, and when I open my fist, all that is left is stardust. Did you hear me? I said there's stardust in your eyes, and I am falling for you. I hate it that I could write a thesis on your eyes, but I've got four other reasons to mention you. Two. If I could fill a jar of my heartbeats that skip at the side of your smile, I could leave it at your doorstep. Three, your hands were like smooth sketch papers and my fingers were dried and broken crayons, but you never held my hands, meaning you never let me paint you. Four, I can guarantee you were just a daydream, but then why? Does my heart feel like an old and dusted violin with all its strings broken, but I can still listen to the music? Five, I've started to talk to myself. Didn't I tell you? Did I not tell you that you can never get something that you want by simply looking at it hopefully? I want to get drenched in the rain in an empty city in the middle of the night. I want to walk barefooted and scream at the top of my lungs, will you be there too? Will I have courage then and there to grab your hand and pull you close? Will you look at the moon with me? Do you think that you need to see other girls? You go see them till I paint the ravishing curve of your eyes with my words and handcraft your lips with metaphors. Will I ask you to be mine? I won't. What is of you that is yours and not mine? I took the memory of you in my hands and crushed them like frosted blueberries and tucked them in my pockets and went around the city while it was raining. And our souls had these colors that had no names and you said love is not what it is. I laughed because love is too shallow a word to be used anyway. You want to see other women, you sure can. They have bags of beauty and baskets of youth. I, my dear boy, am a museum of rhapsodies. I won't make you go crazy. I can only smile at you, breathe with you, slow dance with you, sing songs with you, hold hands with you, go cycling with you, name constellations with you. Will you be there with me in an empty city at 3 a.m. while it's raining? In my dreams you were there, and I should have kissed you when we were running in the rain. I wish there was enough paper, enough ink, to write it down to you how I feel about you, but until then I can only fold little pieces of my heart into paper boats, hoping that one day you would build a home near the river of my emotions. I've been talking to the moon about you, about how your eyes are like an ocean, about how your skin is sanctified, your hair all dark and black while you run your fingers through them. Would you believe me if I say that I was momentarily under oxygenated when I first looked at him? And the moon laughed at me and said, you keep calling him a muse. But do you not realize that he was a piece of art already? Thank you.